two offerings, um, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, as well as Superior will remain in Tarrant County for 2017. Um, we are in network for both the medical center and the claim. So that is good news for JPS and our patients. Thank That's you. It. That's great news. We'll take it. All right. Any questions for Sharon? Well done. Do you want to move to item uh, 4A? Uh, 5A, I'm sorry. Or am I getting way ahead of you here? No, nope. I'm going to hit the financial statements very quickly. Um, I'm going to go straight to page 20 of the um, income statement for the medical center. Um, our volumes were very strong, this 850000 ahead of budget, as well as our salaries were over budget. You can see about a million dollars. Um, and I do want to point out that under our UC revenue, we did decrease our accrual from our budgeted level. That is because uh, we are expecting about $10 million less than our budgeted um, expectation. So that will be a constant between October and the remainder of this year. Uh, we talked about that during the closed process. and. Um, so we don't want to over accrue. The other item is that in purchase service, we are under budget um, by about a million dollars. Half of that is some cleanup from our PG company. Uh, we were over accrued in that company about half a million dollars. And then we were um, timing wise, we're about half a million dollars behind in some of our IT contracts. So I would expect that half a million to catch up over the next couple of months. But again, we were able to meet budget um, and produce a $1.3 million operating margin for the month. I'm gonna skip to page 25 to talk about a claim. This is the first um, month for a claim. If you remember, we have onboarded most of um, the physicians that were planned back in September. Their loss for the month was 1.6 million compared to a budgeted loss of uh, 628,000. One unusual item for the month we did have an expense of $880,000 that related to the prior year. Um, there was an expense that came in from UNT for some coverage expenses that related to last year that we did have to book this month. So that was an unusual item. Uh, we also had about $480,000 of vacation accrual that we had to front load for some of those onboarded physicians. So those two items were one time and will not happen again in future months. Um, you'll also notice that we had an overage in our income, even though our volumes for the month were slightly under. Um, we did have some catch up in some billing um, from September and October. That was really fast. <laughs> any, any, any questions, questions for, for Sharon? Um, if you do have any, I'll be happy to answer them after the meeting. I have the luxury of having a long conversation with her before this meeting, so I, you know, <laughs> it, truly, if anyone has any questions, please. You want to carry a gun to the final? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Put the Michigan bites on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. All right. Fast as ever. I also it? have the contract, first would, contract. I think we'll take a vote to accept your report. I'll entertain a so motion. We have a motion seven. by Dr. Casey, second by Mr. Bowes. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Mr. Chairman, I got a quick question. Yes, yes, sir. If, if I make myself absent from this meeting, is there still a quorum for you to conduct business? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> I've got a thing. I'll be back for HR. So,
There is no HR. No HR. We did so that. You See? You <laughs> okay. <laughs> where, where are you going and where are you not going? <laughs> so there is no HR. No. 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 There's no HR today. We had that last week. You remember? <laughs> Roger's in need of a personal assistant. If there's anyone out there. Um, but thank you for coming back, Mark. Well, yeah. I'm yeah. Still, no, I still need to go. I've got 11 beers. So. Got it. Thanks Thank for you being all. There. Okay. See you, Roger. So, item five, um, B, right? Correct. I, B. Um, I am asking approval today for the Children's Medical Center Health Plan. Um, it is a managed care contract that was live on November 1. This is actually a Dallas County health plan. Um, it includes um, the Medicaid managed care plans as well as a Medicare Advantage plan. Because it is a contiguous county, um, we have um, a claim as well as the hospital in network. So I'm asking for your approval to now bring JPS in network for right. this. We don't think it's a huge volume, but there's, it's probably very beneficial to those who are under that plan to be able to access our Correct. Many of our clinics uh, for primary care may be uh, close proximity to yeah. some of the residents in Dallas County. Yeah. Okay. I entertain a motion to approve this. So moved. Second. Thank you. <laughs> An embarrassment of riches. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> who made the motion first? Uh, Mr. North Bose North. made the motion, the second by it Dr. Casey. Quick. That's a motion to accept. Uh, we, we did that, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Well, you were out lollygagging. We, we okay. took care of business. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> so we have a motion and a second for item 5B. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Motion passed. Thank you, Ms. Clark. <laughs> um, item 5C. Good morning. I think that's mine. Um, yes, it is. Uh, we bring before you today a contract for our purchasing of um, office supplies and minor equipment for the health system. In that contract, we did do an RFP. We did get responses. The response that we are uh, proposing today is the incumbent vendor, Guy Brown. They are an MWEB uh, provider and um, have, have uh, the incumbent provider. So we just present that to you today for consideration. And this is in budget. It is in budget. We have a motion by uh, any questions. We have a motion by Reverend Emerson. Second. 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 We have a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Item D, Mr. Whitman. You don't look like Mr. Whitman. <laughs> Standing in for Mr. Not, Whitman. Not even Mr. Rule. <laughs> Item D. Are you going to do D, E, and F? I'll do D and E. You need e &E. to do this. <laughs> Let me move on. Uh, we're requesting approval of the professional services agreement for neurological services between Tarrant County Indigent Care Corporation and uh, CND, the provider. As you will uh, know, uh, CN this is a contract between Tarrant County Indigent Care Corporation and the physician group. However, we bring it to this board for approval because we have certain obligations to the extent that um, that contract uh, would be assigned to us, and we have certain reverter obligations uh, if that relationship would decease. Uh, this this is just an extension to take us through December 31st of 2017 at existing terms, including the performance compensation component. Okay. Further explanation, any questions for Scott? Move approval. Motion by Dr. Second. Weber, second by Dr. Casey. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, motion passes. Item Great, eight. thank you. Same ex explanation uh, as the previous item, only this is with oral and maxillofacial surgery. Third. Any questions for Scott? So moved. Motion by Dr. Weber. Second. Second by Dr. Casey. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion, uh, opposed, motion passes. Great, Thanks, thank Scott. you. Who's gonna do F, do we know? Uh, Scott, are you going to go ahead and do F? Yeah, we just did it. Medical. No, you did E. You did D and E. F. Scott, you going to yeah. do E uh, on uh, oral maxillofacial? It sounds very similar. Right. Well, this this is actually, I believe, with 
the extending this it. actually with the district we're just extending yeah. it yeah. And this is the medical education affiliation right. agreement. Right. That. all right great sure. any questions so Scott? Moved. motion by dr webb uh dr casey second by mr bose all in favor please say aye, aye. aye. opposed motion passes thank you scott right thank you Item G. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm the Bill Whitman substitute. <laughs> <laughs> We'd much rather have you. <laughs> I have before you an, a, a contract for architectural services for uh, expansion of the ED. The space is already shelled out. It is in budget. Uh, the contracts with Sterling, Barnett, and Little for 261800 It's been approved conceptually by planning by committee, planning, right. bringing it forward to finance for your consideration. So item G, H, and I have all been considered by planning. Yes, okay. sir. All right, so item G is in one in question. You heard an explanation. Any questions? Um, approval. Motion by Mr. Bose. Second. Second by Dr. Weber. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion, uh, opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Item H. Item H is also an architectural services agreement. This is for radiology equipment install. Uh, the architect is LBL Architects. The amount is 207900 and it is within budget. In budget? Yes, sir. Any questions? Second. Motion by Rever Reverend Emerson, second by Dr. Casey. All in favor, please say aye. Yeah. Aye. Opposed, motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. The third one is for um, actually a budget increase. I hate to bring that forward. Um, on our Northeast medical home that's in design, uh, we've been asked to add optometry services and a partial hospitalization program that were not included in the original program. That's increased the square footage by 4,197 square feet, wow. which equals about 1.4 million, roughly. Uh, and we're asking that that be included in the budget, which would include increase our budget to 15 million six sixty eight oh forty one. This is good for our citizens in Northeast. Yes, great idea. Okay. Um, heard the explanation. Any questions? So move. Out. Motion. Out question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> does the Southeast Milk Home have optometry services now? Yes, yes sir. it does. Mm -hmm. What services, not? Ralph? I'm sorry. I asked did the Southeast Medical Home optometry services now and their answer was yes so I'm wondering how we not we massaged it in there after the fact we did it wasn't planned for it, it. wasn't planned Reverend at the time the only reason I'm asking that because I think I was the long ranger that kept saying you probably were that we shouldn't have anything less than what the southeast had mm -hmm. Now we're there. Right. <laughs> At the time we were programming, we didn't have optometry at Southeast. We added it after, afterwards. So now we are having the same. So yes, I think your point's well taken. I just want to well noted. <laughs> okay. Well okay. noted. <laughs> noted for the record. Okay. So noted. So okay. Good job. All right. We have a motion by Dr. Casey, a second by Reverend Emerson. <laughs> Oh, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Mm -hmm. Diana. Yes, sir. I did come to sit by Adam's Angie J. for support for that Northeast Medical Home. So, but thank you. And you said close to Reverend Emerson. I did. I did. I did. It's going to be a beautiful campus. Um, so, I'm here to bring to you a to request approval for a professional service agreement between a claim and the Fort Worth Perinatal Associates. Normally these agreements would go to the claim executive committee first. We did not have a committee meeting in time. We checked with uh, Mr. Powell and he said, let's go ahead and put it on the finance agenda. We have been working with Fort Worth Perinatal Associates since the transition from a claim. They had a contract with UNT Health Science Center to provide those services um, here to, to JPS through the UNT Health Science Center. We needed to transition that to a claim. Um, and so we started that conversation at the time we, we moved. Uh, we sat down, agreed on terms. They sent those terms to their attorney. We just got those terms back three weeks ago from their attorney. Um, we had some concerns about call pay, so we sent this out for an FMB analysis to make sure that the call pay was correct. And it came <coughs> back um, 
10.40 p.m. the day before the deadline to get this to you. So we um, actually been working hard to get this to you. We have not paid for any of these services. They've been working very hard on our campus. And certainly they do have, uh, they are ready to get paid. Um, and we, we have explained the process. They understand the process. The claim is doing all billing and collection for them going forward. So, um, and they're a great group. The women's services are very happy with the services they're providing. Uh, certainly our high risk pregnant patients deserve the best care possible. And these ladies are doing a great job in providing that care. They do also read all of our ultrasounds for every pregnant patient in the district, no matter where they are. I, I'm sure you saw some of that in their contract related to Singo and the availability to read off site. Um, so they're, uh, they do a great work for us. Great. And I did talk to Mr. Powell and he confirmed that. Thank you, sir. Okay, you've heard the explanation from Diane. Any questions for Dr. Johnson or Diane? Good program. Yeah. Entertain a motion. Don't move. A motion by Mr. Uh, Mr. Dr. Casey and a second by Dr. Weber. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you both. Thanks. Good work, Dr. Johnson. Never seen that. <laughs> yeah. Melinda, Thank you. I'm Kay. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here to ask for the renewal for the Midas Status product. This is we've had this product for four years. This is an annual renewal for that product. That product is used by physician services to look at the um, performance of our physicians as they're being renewed each year. Um, some examples of that are what, what the readmission rates are, what the mortality rates are, whether they're following standard processes for AMI, et cetera. So it's a wonderful way just to do a little double check as physicians are being uh, renewed. Great. And this is in budget? It is in budget, yes. Sir. All right. Heard Melinda's description. Any questions for her? Entertain a motion. Move approval. Motion by Second. Mr. Bose. Second by uh, Reverend Emerson. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Melinda. Kathleen, I always <laughs> save the favorite for last. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here today to ask approval for a contract for service for the five mammography units that are purchased through GE throughout the district. These are these. This contract is for five years, and it does include an out clause for 90-day notice, and it was evaluated by the service contract value analysis team. Questions for Kathleen? Entertain a motion. Move uh, approval. A motion by Mr. Bose. Did Mr. Warren? Did that, Nora, did you uh, second it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> did you note that for the record? Thank you very much for the second. All in favor, please say aye. Uh, opposed? <laughs> motion passes. Uh, All right, nothing else. Opposed? No. Not there. Anything. Just wanted to point for the record also that Mr. Early was not here. Look how smoothly this came <laughs> 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 Yeah, I thought we don't vote on that. We did. We did. Uh, uh, Dorothy.